Good morning, everyone. We are on the move. We have left the Griff Hotel behind us. Okay, time to check in. Oh, we are in our travel clothes. Is that what you'd call it? Yes. So it's like tracky Hopefully, bottoms. Tracky bottoms. Tracky bottoms. Runners, hoodie. Yeah, it's, just, it's the only way. Yeah, especially when you have a few hours on the train. We are leaving Gdansk uh, after a few days here. It's been amazing, hasn't it? It's been oh, a great place to start. Amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. been a great place to start our Polish trip. But we are on the way now to the train station because we are getting train tickets to another one of Poland's main cities. It's actually the capital. We're on our way to Warsaw. The train to Warsaw takes, uh, I think it's going to take us three hours. Is that right? There is a faster hours, train you yeah. can get that's two hours. But is it? It's, it's literally half the price. So half we the were price, like, we yeah. don't mind the extra hour then for half the price. Exactly. Um, so yeah, we went for the slow train. <laughs> <laughs> with this bag, huh? We take turns. <laughs> so yeah, as we said, we stayed in the Griff Hotel and if you're coming to visit Gdansk, uh, we'd highly recommend it. It worked out at 200 euro only for four nights and that was with us adding a breakfast on each morning. And it's a lovely buffet breakfast. So yeah, if you're coming to Gdansk, uh, check out the Griff Hotel. <laughs> That's why I was trying to wear a bow oh, like the Milky Way kid. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God for lifts. Oh, okay, so platform one is where we have to go. It is one o'clock, our train leaves at 1 30 and arrives into Warsaw at 5 past 5. So, uh, yeah, not too long. Okay, so you got the tickets anyway? Yeah, tickets came to, I think, 125 Zloty, which works out, I think, 13 euros each. That's not bad, is it? That was actually not bad, And yeah. like you were saying earlier, it's half the price for an hour Extra longer, on the yeah, train, on the yeah. journey, yeah. So I think, uh, I think 13, just over 13 euros each is perfect. Of course it is, yeah. Yeah, three, four hour train ride, so. Not bad. Jackpot. So tip from us is to go and get the slow train. <laughs> get the slow train. Yeah, well, it depends. If you're in that a hurry, point. obviously, you know what I mean. But and I suppose the time of night we're, we're arriving into into Warsaw at five past five. So you know, that's not too bad, sure, it's not. No, definitely. Although in saying that, you remember we only talked about this the other day. Do you remember the time we got the the bus from Sarajevo? No, from Belgrade to Sarajevo at half ten at night. I mean, there is a. You know that happened to us. Nothing happened to us, but it's just so sketchy. Okay, so panic is over. We're actually through the border now, and it was probably the easiest border we crossed. Can we get back on? And we were looking at the hotel yeah, we had to cross the, check in yeah, yeah. to cross the border and all that sort of stuff. So after doing something like that, something like this is cake. <laughs> <laughs> so all we have to do now is wait for our train, and what time is it now? It's just four past ten minutes, I think we leave. Ten minutes, it leaves at twenty-five past one. Oh my god, it's nearly, if you watched that <laughs> yesterday's video when we were going to the castle in Malbork we got on the wrong train and for about five or six minutes we, we thought we, we did it again. I asked one of the girls that worked, uh, what to call them, conductors, um, showed her the ticket because uh, we were actually looking for a seat. Again, kind of miscommunication, uh, language barrier issues, um, she had said that we were on the wrong train, Samantha. I think fainted behind uh, me. I couldn't go through that again, especially for such a long trip <laughs> and you know moving to the next spot. Like yeah, I just but um, basically she said that we were going to yeah. Eastern Warsaw, where we're going into the central central station in Warsaw. So even if it was the wrong train, it's not even that big of a deal. But anyway, long story short, she was actually the one that was wrong, and she got another conductor, and he said to us that we were on the right train. So crisis ever. Because we had double checked the train number. <laughs> oh yeah, we had time. proper after yesterday. We like, were proper the, like. Imagine how can it be the yeah, wrong yeah, train? Yeah, like, God, there's something wrong with us. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, all good in the end, thank God. Okay, yes, yeah, so we are on the train one hour. We have two more hours to go, and I know we've only been on a couple of trains since being in Poland, but we are very, very pleasantly surprised at how good they are. They're very, very clean, very relaxed, 
and uh, I mean we nearly fell asleep yesterday coming back from the castle I feel like dozing off again <laughs> but they're just really really comfortable and uh, yeah it's a nice a nice way to travel the train I have to say it is a nice way to travel Samantha is over here she's getting stuck into have a Christmas movie, a sorry, Christmas and movie. some lunches <laughs> for the next two hours. <laughs> so I'm happy. You're happy, yo. So uh, I'm gonna actually get stuck into some editing. We have a new video coming. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow that will be on our YouTube channel. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, uh, please do. We have plenty of videos from our very first trip, which is the Balkans. Then we went to Portugal um, for six months at the beginning of 2021. And now we actually travel a little bit around Ireland as well before we came to Poland so yeah so we've um we're just signing off the year with this trip to Poland we're very very excited we are in Gdansk we started there we're heading now to Warsaw we're gonna head towards Krakow as well and and Rochlav I think that's how you say that there's amazing Christmas markets there Zakopene at the in the south of Poland we're hoping to do some skiing there as well so there's loads happening from Poland and uh, yeah if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do and uh, you can also follow us on Instagram as well for all of our daily updates So as well on the topic of recommendations like I said a minute ago we are going to Warsaw and Krakow and Rotslav and Zakopene and things like that so if you are someone who has been to Poland who has traveled through uh, the country or if you're in fact Polish uh, please let us know as well the kind of the, the most see places in the country you know and um, we are not tied to a plan so to speak I mean they're the, the sort of that's the general itinerary that we're going to but if there's certain places that are I suppose we haven't mentioned that you think you know you guys have to go there please let, let us know in the comments because um like I said we just did a general sort of plan a general itinerary and um, to hit up these spots in Poland based on just Google searches and things like that so if you have any sort of insider information well then please let us know in the comments we always love hearing from people who are from the country when we were in Portugal we got loads of recommendations from people whether it was through Instagram or comments on the YouTube videos and um, the Portuguese people really kind of got involved in our videos and kind of always said you know go to this place or try this restaurant in this city or whatever it was you know so it's great to kind of have that bit of interaction with people who watch our videos so so yeah any uh, Polish tips please leave them in the comments okay so three hour train ride done we're literally getting off now with the next stop there we go thank you okay so we have arrived we're off the train and we're finally in Warsaw our <laughs> next spot in Poland we were on to a good start with Gdansk so I'm dying to see what Warsaw is like So as we said, we are in Warsaw and straight off the bat, big difference to Gdansk, it's quite large, the buildings are massive. Um, so yeah, I mean, we really had a great time in Gdansk, it was a perfect place to start, but we are so excited to see what Warsaw is about. Seems a bit more lively or maybe a bit more energy, a lot more people, like I said, it seems like it's a bigger, much bigger city. A lot more busier. So, yeah, a lot more busier. So, yeah, as long as there's lots of things to do, we don't mind. Lots there seems to be to taste. lots of food to taste as well. We're lots becoming of beers to drink. <laughs> We're big fans of the Polish food and drink, as you might have seen in our last video. So yeah, on our way to a hotel, I just checked on Google Maps there. It says that we'll be there in about about 10 minutes. So everything going according to plan so far. Keelan's over there trying to figure out if this is our hotel or apartments even. <laughs> Does it look right? Uh, I don't know. The location is saying, or the map is saying, that we're here. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, messaged the guy and took a picture of the building and was like, just to see if it's it. I think we're outside. That's what I'm saying. It's not a hotel no. we're staying in, so it's a little bit different. It's like apartment blocks. Yeah, it's it's it is it's an apartment, but we booked it on Booking.com. Yeah, yeah. Usually when we get apartments, we do it on Airbnb, but this was a this was a good deal and. I just thought, why not we just go for it? Like usually we use booking.com for just hotels, but uh, look, we'll see how it goes. It looks really, really nice in the picture, so. Maybe we've been scammed, what do you think? <laughs> That's the attitude to have, Samantha. Uh, Maybe it's all a dream. <laughs> Hello. 
Let's go. Tight space. Okay, yes, we have arrived. The place is lovely, we're really happy with it. So let's give you a tour. So another good choice from Keelan. I didn't keep up this one on booking.com. And um, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm really happy with it. So we start off here and we have the little kitchen area, which is perfect. Mm. We might not be using it too much now because we will be out and about, but yeah. I mean, we have everything we can cook in if we like. So we leave the kitchen now and we bring it into the sitting room area. Mm. Well, like sitting room slash kitchen. Yeah. So little kitchen table here. And mm. then we have the lovely sitting room area. It's lovely, isn't it? It's perfect. TV, couple of couches, couple of seats. There's only two of us, so. Yeah. <laughs> Spoil for choice on the seat. Spoil for choice. Yeah, Spoil for sure, choice. yeah. Cute little artwork there. Now we bring it into the bedroom, which is really cute, I think. Ah, this is lovely, isn't it? It's really, really nice. Look at the beds. Ah. It's really cute, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's and gorgeous. And then, of course, a little desk for Ed. Desk area here. It's lovely, isn't it's it? It's nice and warm and cozy as well. It is. The radiator's on, so. It is. Booking.com, this guy. There you go. Nine out of ten, so nine out of ten. Can't go wrong there. Yeah, that bed looks really, really cozy and comfy. Nice little lamps beside it. And then we have the bathroom. Bathroom. Which is actually really nice as well. There's a mm. nice deep bath in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh lovely. Nice and clean. It is, yeah, the place is spotless, isn't it? Spotless. And another bonus that we needed oh, was yes. there's actually a washing machine. Now if you're a traveller like us, things yes. like that. Come in Make pretty, your pretty day, don't they? Yeah, they yes. do. Especially that we have heavy clothing with us yeah, because obviously yeah, it's yeah. winter, so it's harder to to wash it, like hand wash it in the sink. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, really handy. So something like that is a godsend. Yes, absolutely. And last but not least, we will bring you out to our balcony. We have a balcony. Christ, who do we think we are? We're on the 14th floor, so we're high up. Yeah, it's a big, huge kind of apartment complex where we are. Now you'll have to bear with us here because it is quite. Foggy and I'm doing that, I keep putting my it's, elbows. That's so going wet, Samantha. Watch it. Soaking wet, yeah. Uh, oh, that's dreadful. Earlier on, the view you can't see it now, but the view here is oh, absolutely the amazing. The view yeah. was amazing. High rise yeah. buildings right here. Uh, you can't see them obviously because of the fog. So we do have a, a really nice kind of view. It is a bustling city, as we said when we arrived. So, uh, so yeah. But just even to have a balcony is just a nice little touch. Even though it's freezing, it's just somewhere to kind of go of in the course. morning, have your coffee, look out over the, uh, the lovely city, and uh, yeah, just to kind of take it all in. Also, watch the step. <laughs> I nearly fell over a couple of times. <laughs> And yeah. for this whole apartment, only worked out at four to five euros a night, so we got a really good deal on it. Jack, pa. Samantha has forgotten the best part. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about the swim pool. I've been going <laughs> on place. and on about it, and the pool is open. It has a swimming pool, it has a steam room, it has a sauna. We're gonna get something deep, we're gonna unpack, get something deep. And we're gonna go down for a swim and yeah. use the sauna. Yeah, for sure. We've been dying to use it, so it opens till 10 o'clock. So we're gonna go down for a little <laughs> swim. Again, who the hell do we think we are? <laughs> Spoiling ourselves. <laughs> So we just popped out to the shop there. We're really hungry after that long travel day. And we went to Zapke. They're, it's basically a Polish shop and they're literally on every corner, they're everywhere. So we decided to get some Polish food to try. And why not make use of the apartment that we can cook in. So I went for some Bigos. And basically it's a Polish stew. So it's made from obviously a soup and then there's cabbage in it, sausage and meat. Oh. So I've been dying to try it since I got over. So uh, this was actually ready made already. I just have to put it in the pan and heat it up. And I have to say, it actually smells really good. Mm. I'm dying to try it. So look at it cooking away there. Um, it was very thick when I poured it in first, but it's actually starting to water down a little ah, bit. Okay, yeah. You can see the little bits of sausage, look at oh. oh my God. Yeah, it actually this smells is so it good. here. Bigos, so um, I think anyone watching from Poland will be obviously familiar with that. What did you go for? You went for I, <laughs> I, <laughs> a Polish Being a veggie, <laughs> is, you know, like I went for the tomato soup. So again, probably not, well, definitely not as Polish as this, but uh, nice it looks really cream. nice. And like we said, on days like today, where it's starting to get cold, soup, 
And stews are perfect dish. Perfect dish for days like today. Perfect dish. We do love a good Irish stew in the winter, so now <laughs> I'm dying to try a lovely Polish stew. <laughs> it actually smells so good that I'm going to taste it now. Mm. I can't wait. <laughs> I do love a good taste test. Yes. I nice smell a bit of sausage on that. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. Is it? No, it actually really is no, good. No, you're not yeah. just saying that now. I'm not, I'm saying it's so good. It's really? Really good. I knew when I smelled it, it smelled so tasty, yeah. Really, okay. Yeah, really, really good. I will mill this, honestly. <laughs> it's so good. I wish you could taste it. <laughs> I'm really, really impressed with it, honestly. I just said to Keelan, he's like, really, really? I'm like, yeah, really, really, it's so good. I give it a 10 out of 10. Jesus. Okay, so while Samantha is in charge of the bigos and the tomato soup, I am in charge of the proper soup. So we're gonna start with Harness is the name of the drink, and then there's another one as well that we're gonna go with, which is this one right here. You'll have to read it, because <laughs> I can't say it. Uh, so, so far we've had Toyski and the, the one that with the Z, Z, Y, I'll just cut to it. The name. Zwick? I don't know. Yeah, so they're the two that we've had. So I'm gonna try this one here, this is the Harness. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. Okay, so it's quite light. Okay. In fact, I think it's too light. Oh, really? Yeah, I think there's, there's not really much of a kick off that. Really? Yeah, yeah, sorry, harness, but... Can I try I don't it? know. I don't know, does it, it's a bit tasteless. Really? Is it? I don't know, you try it. Let me try Oh my God, I know what you mean. It's very bland. I think, it, yeah, that's bland. Yeah, it's That's very bland. There's just nothing to it. There's nothing to it, there's no oh, kick off it. Really, it's really missing a kick, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> is this it? Harness. Missing a kick. <laughs> okay, next up is this puppy. Cheers. Any better? Is that the same glass? <laughs> Did they taste the same? No, it's the other one. It's a different glass? Okay, yeah, yeah they the taste one. very, very similar. Bland as well. Loy. Bland. Oh no, we went for the wrong beers. <laughs> sorry, lads. Try that. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. It does taste the same. Yeah. That is crazy, and they're different beers. They taste the very same. same. A little bit bland. We have tasted nicer ones, but mm. um, yeah. maybe if there's any Polish people watching, you can give us some recommendation <laughs> on some nice beers. Right direction, yes. <laughs> yeah, because we do love nice beers. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the four that we tried is the Toy Ski, the one with the Z, the harness and that one there as well. So I'm thinking, my, I think the toy ski is my favorite so far. Uh, but again, that's only four, it's probably hundreds. So if you've got any recommendations, as Samantha said, please leave them in the uh, in the comments below because we do like a good beer and we do like local beers. So yeah, if you can steer us in the right direction, that would be ace. Okay, so I think it's time to dig into <laughs> this gorgeous stew. <laughs> And then, of course, what we're going to do is finish off the night because we've been dying for it all day. Is we are going to go down and go for a lovely swim. Yeah, baby. Use the sauna and just relax and chill out. Can't wait. Yeah, so if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps our reach with our YouTube channel. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And you can follow us on Instagram at Goldstone Travels for daily updates. We're really excited to check out Warsaw, so the next few videos are going to come from there. But for now, we're going to have something to eat, as Samantha said. Go down for a swim, and yeah, we will see you in the next one. Oh, oh.